This week's sponsor, KR Couriers and Transport Limited, are best known as being a Northwest based company who deliver newspapers and magazines for local news agents and superstores. You'll find all the information within the description. Please give them a follow. Thank you. What's happening in the firm? Welcome to the All or Not podcast with Billy Moore. Today's special guest, it's Aaron Frankie, again, back on. Great to be back here, by What's popular happening? demand. Doing an Easter special, aren't we, Bill? Yeah. Back, this yeah. fucking don't have the moaning about mics again, kids, innit? Right. So, right. Just that, that's back. Just make sure you speak into it. Right, so. You're fucking top of the pops. Top of the pops. Is this on, Bill? It is on, yeah. Yeah. It's on, it's flying. Oh, he's put the stars again, built from the top now. Why? No, we're all right. Three times, no edits. We're just going to do it. Go ahead, lads. Go ahead, three times. Go ahead, lads. Yeah, all right. Stand again, on. Frankie. Oh, big, yeah. big shout out to K. Uh, Couriers and Transport Limited. Thanks, Roger, for supporting the podcast. No advertising, Bill. You know, what's going on here? I started the podcast. <laughs> what well, was it a podcast? No, it was a YouTube thing. Oh, I couldn't handle it, lads. Hello. You just get too many gobshites messaging you, Frank. I couldn't you handle it, mate. There was a lot of sound people. But, lad, the amount of gobshites who do, were just fucking... Said to you, I don't know how he handles it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. When people just want to comment, comment, shite. I couldn't handle it. Fucking yeah. liked it. That's Can't nice. be bothered. Got to bother, buy you. No. You bother, no, no, I'm not going to bother. So you've got a podcast. Well, well YouTube, where it's just saying. YouTube channel <sighs> called Beginners of Pros. And it's flying with the shubs over, yeah, over three and a half K. Right, and that was in less than two weeks, by the way, wasn't it? <laughs> no, That's but great. lads, I don't know. It's just that, you know, I, I don't mind coming on with you and having a scream. But when you've got to be serious, lads, and fucking, and you do get a bit serious, and then you've got all them fucking divvies messaging you and all that, you know oh. what I mean? Them ghosts, who can be asked for all them, Frank? Can't be asked with them, lad. Ghost, that's, that's, yeah, that's all they are, that's can't be ghost. ghost is. A ghost is that someone fact. that you knew a while ago, a few years ago, whatever, but you're really trying to avoid. So, you, is that what you, you no? I just think the gobshites, ah. got, we never put down the real name, Frank. Oh, oh so yeah. you mean, and yeah, yeah, and you just ghost it, don't you? Yeah. Ghost it, oh, I get it. Yeah. I think that I think the internet saying for that's trolling it, and troll. the internet troll. But my sister used to call ghosts. Someone she went to school with, she hasn't seen for 20 years. And when she sees them, oh, I don't really want to see them, you know. So, what oh, they're a ghost, something from the past, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 terrible. Yeah, ghost. but there's a lot of like back, back, back then. The lingo was a bit different, weren't it? Yeah, it language. was in Liverpool, you know, yeah. language is very different, yeah. isn't it? It's evolved, it's gone very different to what it was a few years ago, I think. I'm scared to say fuck all these we things, because everyone, got, everyone gets their defended, lads, don't so, you say something. Do you know what I was only thinking about that today? I was watching a thing on my podcast and it was uh, on the uh, YouTube, it was Chubby Brown being interviewed yeah. by a fella on GB News, Yeah, and he just said, Where, he's been, you know, been banned in Sheffield, he said, where's this going? In the end, there'll be no such thing as comedians. Mm. People will be terrified to say anything at all with the snowflakes. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't. I hate that word. It's a fuck top, Frank. Don't ever use yes. that word. Snowflakes. Right. Snowflakes. It's, it's horrible, a proper it? wool word, that, yeah, Frank, know. isn't it? All right. Hey, hey, snow, hey, snowflakes. snowflakes. Frank, you get a lot of snowflakes. Yeah, what what you call call them? Them? I mean, you've got to be careful what you call them. Gobshites. You can't have called them pricks and all that. That's Phil. That's the one, all right. Gobshites, isn't it? Simple. Snowflakes with Frank there. Frank's come from Runcorn, have you, lads? But you're like, don't make some of these fucking podcasts or these comedians. They're on their ass, right? They're on their ass, and you think they're fucking hilarious. You know who you are. You're out there. You think you're funny. The Some fucking of the pops, rubbish. Ninety-nine percent are absolute rubbish. And all you want to do, <laughs> sit in the fucking <laughs> house, the, the little flat, trolling people, and you say, "Oh, you said this, this, uh, you offended a fella who only had there." Uh, at one storm and all <laughs> what? Lads, Frank, hell, let's get back on? to the days, Bill. This is a bit controversial. <laughs> let's get back to where you right. can say what you wanted to. But what was all about today is old Liverpool sayings. Yeah, yeah. Things. Well, can we just get one? Remember the good old days of volleying a mongrel? 
Oh, you want me to laugh? You said this to me the other day. The day to him. Everyone used to just volley a mongrel, mate. <laughs> what? Well, Frankie, you must have volleyed a mongrel in your day. You? I'm not saying yes or no. I don't want the RSPCA oh, after me. Come you know on, me. mate. Last time you fucking <laughs> volleyed a mongrel. When was that, lad? It was an hour. You're the kids. nice. You're the nice. <laughs> but, lads, everyone used to die. used to come out of fucking boozers and just volley one, didn't he? You know what I mean? There was millions of stray dogs. I'm going on a bar stay dog. It's okay, you've been on. Let's leave that one out of it. I'm just dogs. saying, mate. Stray dog issue, this kid. <laughs> I just hate stray dogs. They're not around no more, though, no. are they anyway? So fuck stray dogs, mate. Fuck Go ahead, dogs. Frank. You were saying about our Liverpool Saints. Well, we were talking about that, about something to talk about today. I mean, fucking, I was on the verge of a war, really. Should be talking about that, really, with Russia and all that. But by the time this goes out. You might have been nuked, Kenny. Might gone, have lad. been nuked, it might be gone. <laughs> I know it was on the news before. Well, I spoke to a fella, funny enough. A uh, Ukrainian fella. Got a letter off him and he said, uh, fucking bombs going off, fires everywhere. People are screaming. He said, people getting shot. He said, nothing to eat, no electricity. <laughs> he said, uh, fucking sorry, I came to eat. And he said. <laughs> 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 well, you can adopt one, can you, for 250? Refugees. Oh, no, you get three fifty a month. Three fifty. Is that all? Yeah. Thought it was a fucking week, Frank. Oh, so throw two I, thought a, I was going to get someone in. Going to get a couple of bunk beds knocked up, lads. Yeah. So it's three fifty a month. You'd have to get two in to get seven hundred quid. And have you got to feed them? Have you got to feed them. Oh, fuck that, mate. No, lad. I'll you're, give you three fifty a month if you take me. You're watching the telly. Hey, I can help. You're watching the telly. I'll leave you out and out. What people forget? It's got to cause trouble. You're sitting there watching the telly. They might want to watch something else. You know all that. So they're in your house, aren't they? I mean, it's a tragedy. It's terrible what's happened. But I'm funny like that. I couldn't have anyone living with me. I've shared with two fellas. Go away. Right, I went, when I went to Marbella, when I first got there, yeah. I couldn't have fucking afford the rent because yeah. it was sky high and I was paying 900 quid, right, to share with these two fellas. But the villa had like a pool in and all that. Yeah. And um, we went to view it. My bear come with me the first week. Second week, she legs it back to the kids and I had to stay out there for six weeks on my own. And you're looking. So they, I had my own room. And them two shared the room. Two chefs they were from Argentina. Okay. Frank, right? I just feel like. Nice. And I used to say, are these two fucking gay? Do you know, like, they believe and go, right? You know, like that, and you think, sure, these are a pair of puffs, these two. You know, like that, you're scratching your head. Next minute, I'm trying to rain noises, Bill. You know, I'm coming out of the room and all that. <laughs> and in the end, lads, I just felt uncomfortable as fuck. And he, he would leave chefs. I've got a long day. He'd leave at 11 and come back at a bar too. So I don't think they had the energy to goose one another, lads. But I do think they were a pair of puffs. Actually, he went in the room once and thought, I'll have a little nose here. You know, expecting up to open the drawer and see a fucking big dildo or something. And that's what I see no. now. Fuck all that. Surely we're just mates. I don't know, Frank. You know oh. what I mean? I wouldn't share with me, mate. I wouldn't share fucking you. You've got no chance, mate. Would you share in the same bed? <laughs> no. They had two beds, but, you know, you might. Fucking oh, no, bum I another could, fella and just that. want I to go a kip on I your could, own, innit? I couldn't it? do that in a bed with another fella. Well, Frank, you might get in the one bed for a couple of, you know, <laughs> 10 minutes, innit? And then get, get back in your own. But that's the only time I've shared with, but it was fucking uncomfortable, mate. Yeah, I have. I've shared, I've been, I've done a few house shares in the early days up in Bristol, you know, and you, you're right, there's always murder over, like, what's on. You know, if you go in the fridge and there's only, like, one fridge and you put a bit of food in there or... You know, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm a secret <laughs> lemonade drinking me lads. I'm getting up and I'm eating your yogurt, and then I'm denying it. <laughs> yeah, you got I, was I was in a flat, flat once. I was Look, in a flat. Imagine if it was a muller ice lad. And even if you leave a pube on a toilet seat, there's fucking yeah. chaos. I, I, I had a flat in Smith Down Road years ago, mm. but the kitchen was shared. So you put your own stuff. You had one shelf, and someone in the next flat had another shelf. But things would go missing. You know what I mean? Then one night I got up in the middle of the night. And this bird that was living upstairs, she always had chocolate bars. <laughs> so I knocked on a bit of chocolate bars and ate it. I forgot all about it. Then about five o'clock the next afternoon, just sitting there watching the telly. I heard, and she's from out of town, this one, I heard, where's my fucking chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So I said, oh, fuck this. She just got out, went out. But I remember it, you know, you talk about fucking sharing. I as a mate, and you know, years ago, you only got lemonades on a Friday, didn't you? Yeah. And I remember having a game of footy, and he went same um, after, you know, you're all finished playing. Two hours for the drink. Have you said that, didn't he, after the game of footy? And I goes to theirs for the drink, and his ma was dead holy, lad, you know, fucking Hail Mary's and the yeah. porch and all that. Yeah. And he ran in and got a bottle of lemon. Oh, he went, do you want a glass? 
I said, fuck, couldn't get me bread. I went, go ahead, lads, yeah. Give me a breast, a glass of lemonade, lads. Is ma come out and fucking kicked off. You've had your quota of lemonade. Oh, I was a little fat cunt standing there with the glass like that. I was looking around. She went, you've just given one. You know, there's only two glasses each. That's why, at the way, it was back then. They were allowed two glasses of lemon each. And he gave me a fucking glass. And he was made a bill. Oh, felt a cunt. Felt like spewing it back up. Ah! Spewing it back, lads. Was this, you know? what, was this the fr- years ago on a Friday? Yeah. Lemonade, and you get years ago on a Friday lemonade. Remember the, the, what was it, what the lemon man. The lemon man. What was your aim? Kids, I wanted the lemon man to be my army. He was one glamorous cunt, lad. The lemon man by ours, lad. Just picture it, Frank. Roast or not. Yeah. By 90 degrees, I'm sitting on the block in Bailey. And he used to pull up everyone's tar, everyone's mask, sorry. Had a crush on the lemon man. Go away. And they'd be all out looking at him. Kid, gold chain. Right around the neck, mate. A couple of sobbies on, lad. That's right. Proper. Scouser Pam and Muzzy lads. Oh, the lemonade the man was a here? dream to look at, Bill. You know what I mean? We were scoies, weren't we? And you, you get Down off the lemon. Yeah. Done a bit of weights, Frank. Think he was a bit of an inspiration to me when he first started, lad. Bit of an airy the chest. Lemo man. And all every bird would be looking at him. The lemo man, everyone's ma steaming off him, kid. Now they steam after a different lemo man. So they yeah. have, they'd be all like that. Hey, lads, two yellow or green. And they'd be all oh, fucking hell. They'd be moist, them women on that block, lad. Dream soldier. Me and my mates would be looking. And I think, wow, kid, he had a boss set of Gretels. And he'd just give you a little smile and then he'd drink the lemo, mate, out of the bottle, kid. You'd think, I wish you were my dad, lad. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, it's honest to God, he was just glamour, mate. I wanted to be the lemo, man, lad. Who is he, lad? I don't fucking know, lad, but he was one handsome cunt, lad, drinking all the lemonade he could handle, mate. Wouldn't you have loved that job? I had a mate who was a lemonade man and he used to cough for a few birds, you know. Mate, the, the, lemon went, the lemon man was fucking flying back yeah, in the day, flying, lads. Yeah. The lemon man still flying today, yeah, though. Yeah, he? but it's a different <laughs> lemon man. <isn't laughs> it? like, fucking hell, mate. Now the lemon's coke. Yeah. yeah. For anyone who didn't know that from out of town, lad. What's lemo? I think they call it, Manchester call it lemo, don't they? Or do they? Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Well, yeah. I'm not sure. We'll get back to what we talked about before. The things that people say in Liverpool, you know, are very different, really, than mm-hmm. out of town, you know. When I lived in Kensington, I'd never heard the word carried before, but mm-hmm. everyone says it. The wits. You know, something's broke. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you know, a fella from around the corner when I first moved to Kensington, you come round the mechanic to have a look at my wheel. Anyway, the wheel couldn't, it was broken, neither a new, whatever. And he went, so oh, fucking hell, it's carried. Frank, no. I've never heard of never that. Never heard of no. no. You're, going, you're well, older than that, yeah. fucking 160 year old. Yeah, yeah. Fella. That month today, I lad. Said, <laughs> I said to your Will today, I said, oh, we see your name. We seen this monk on YouTube or TikTok or something, weren't it? Yeah. And he's about it. He claimed he was 160 years old, right? Yeah. Looked like a shock prune, just in this little orange robe, mate. It's like, like proper ET look, you know what I mean? And um, I said to you, well, I said, ah, the dad's going to bring that up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the dad's going to bring that up. <laughs> Look at that, Frankie's looking rough. Uh, <laughs> Frankie's looking rough there. Have uh, you seen it? I haven't seen it. Oh, lad, lad, we'll get, get it, it up, get Bill. Get, get it, it up. It's heavy. This fucking monkey's heavy, Frank. Uh, Spitting him as you, Frankie. 160. Yeah, I've got it, Bill. I've got right, it. Go ahead. Oldest monk alive. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll be get your the image you up. Get on it. You'll have to show the people it. We'll get it up if we can. Frank, you're looking fucking well, to be honest, lad. Uh, show them that, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, that's horrible, lad. <laughs> Like you sure that's not a dead body? Show them in, Bill. Show them in. Can you I, see it? Can anyone see it? I don't, I don't see think you can see it from there, but no. I'll, try and get a, I'll try and get an image. Oh, if you don't, it's, you can just Google it if you've got internet. Imagine his cock, Bill. Oh, massive. Uh, <laughs> how do you know? Like, <laughs> apparently, it shrinks as you get older. I don't know. Oh, well, what's I'm you. <laughs> You're older than me. Uh, fucking hell, mate. Is that true, Frank, though? No idea. No, no. No. Yeah, no. so the old saying. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, so the old saying is this. Well, because... Colin's on. Hope you're watching, Colin. Oh, you do. You like here uh, watching Frankie and Zadden. Uh, and you mentioned about here, uh, even though you're a scouser, you still struggled with the uh, the lingo. Like the, the likes of Gracie. You know, people, what's Gracie mean? Just the market, isn't the it? Market, but it's from Great Homer Street, isn't it? So that's it's simply put into Gracie, sure. isn't Gracie, it? So, yeah, like, so, yeah, a little bit of lingo. So, what uh, are you going to throw on? A pair of kecks or a pair of pants? Oh, well, I'd say kecks. Most people do, don't I'd say kecks. Yeah. I wouldn't go pants. What about it? Yeah. Say, yeah, is it a tiki or a mugger? 
A what? A mogger. A takey or a mogger? What's a mogger? What the fuck's a mogger? What's a takey? Oh, I've Bill. no idea. Come on, take Takey's away. getting on the back of the bike. There you go, no, these are questions. You said a mogger though, lad. What's, What's a, a mogger? mogger? Who's heard of a mogger? Come on. No Come one's on. ever no, heard of a mogger. Fucking mogger. A moggy. Maybe a fucking witness somewhere has a, a mogger, mogger mate. Look, lad, yeah, if you said a mogger, I'd probably fucking... Fucking hell, what the fucking hell's a mean mogger? mean a moggy, innit, All right, so what What about an Ensi or an Ali? Ensi, isn't it? You wouldn't say Ali, would you? I would have said Enoch. The Enoch, no. yeah, or Ensi. Yeah. The Enoch, the Jigger. Yeah. The Jigger, yeah. I'd say I'd the say Jigger. The Enoch. But you wouldn't say... Yeah, I think... Ali. Or the... No, the Ali. Who knew where the Ali? I think I was, different parts of Liverpool did have different, different shouts, yeah. shouts. Like, I remember someone saying, no, remember the game, sides... Someone calling it Kirby. Well, that's what we call it. Oh, mate. Oh, oh, we call it Kirby, Kirby. Using oh, about a golly away from Hendish witness, people, though, lad. Shout, nah, we... You know, it's a golly away from <laughs> witness, Bill. <laughs> Speaks a golly away from witness, what lad. What do you call it, throwing? Do you know when you're throwing it at the no, Kirby? No, the side, the game, sides. Where oh, you yeah. The, yeah. What's you, where you hit the way? The sides, the games. But where's it? hit? The side. It's the Kirby, innit? Oh, Bill, we don't call a Kirby down here, lads. You should watch and speak, mate. Maybe. We have a game of Kirby. Yeah. Yeah, Kirby. <laughs> okay, mad, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've got a mate on it, and funny enough, I was talking to him yesterday. Now, he lives down the South End, or what people, he don't call it the South End, now it's Oxford. And he's going, it's on about this bird. And he went, oh, yes, yeah, she's all right, she's not bad looking, but she's Aunt Swacky. Now, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, I know yeah. what that is, yeah. Well, you do, but you don't really hear it now, do you? And swacky, no. And swacky, old-fashioned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. But I remember my grandmother. So, me and a show as well, Frankie's well, looks a show. Yeah. Because I'm swacky, me and that as well. It's done, done it, lads, yeah. Bit scruffy. Show. Yeah. Scruffy, Bit scruffy and swacky, yeah. Yeah. But old-fashioned, yeah. Yeah. Old-fashioned. Yeah, that's swacky. It's... Have you heard of that, Bill? Did yeah. you speak or... Oh yeah, yeah. Up, up yonder, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're that, Golly mate. away from witness, mate. We bloody hear that, you speak, <laughs> lad. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. What else was there? I can't remember anything. Oh, the out... The offy. The outdoor. The outdoor. Don't dare you say you called it the outdoor, lad. It's always <laughs> been the outdoor, lad. It's the the only... The oh, some call it the outdoor, you know, lad. The outdoor. So, lad, yeah. I've heard people outdoor. go the outdoor. Yeah, but they were in the pubs years. But the, the off-license... I think Kirby the call it the outdoor, you know, lad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Kirby call it the outdoor. It's like Siggy's in a Bifters. People call it Bifters. Yeah, it's yeah smokes, yeah. Bifters. No smokes. No, no, no way. Smokes. Look at his face, Frank. No smokes. way. Fags. <laughs> no, we can't see that. Fucking that's fucking London. No that, cigarettes. Talk about nah, cigarettes. Yeah. You're out of order, Shane. Oh, fucking fags. Fuck oh, fuck oh, fuck I'll <laughs> 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 wait until I see you, Will. Yeah, well, you've got Bifters, Fags. But I don't think that... I wouldn't fucking call a fucking Siggy a fag. No, you sound like it's you're a puff, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> got a fag. You know, <laughs> like, I've got a fag. You know, you're you're outside next, school, lad. I'd have, have got fucking battered if I would have said outside that school. you got a fag. You've got a tattoo on your fucking, on your cheek and a fucking earring, Frank. Well, when you I lived in Wavertree, living down in Wavertree, went to this cafe one day and a fellow come out and he had different tea, coffee and all that, different soups, peewak soup. Yeah. I've never heard of it that's before. Pea, that's pea soup, isn't it? Pea wax soup. Yeah. Pea wax. No, it's not. Yeah. It's split, isn't it? Split, no, it's split lentils soup, or something. Lentils, it is. Lentils, yeah. Pea soup, but that's pea soup. Uh, well, that's lentil soup. What you call lentil soup well, now? It's called it pea soup. By us, pea wax. I fucking hate pea soup. Fucking horrible. It's not yeah. that green pea stuff, lad. Green, yeah. It's like peas, like a ca- like peas, eating a can of peas. Pea <laughs> but do you remember when like people used to eat proper teas, though, lad? When you'd have like ribs, boiled potatoes, and cabbage, corn, beef, ash. All them dishes are gone now, aren't they, lads? Yeah, You're but the struggle is now, right? I said, mate, the biggest struggle is today, right? And uh, the, the decisions about what you want to have for tea. Oh, no, I don't uh, fucking talk to you like that. Nightmare, mate. I look like a big ornament. I wake up. I wake up and the first thing, what are you having for tea? I don't even know what I'm having for fucking breakfast. Never mind yeah. fucking tea. You know, and then it's like, what do you want for tomorrow? It's you, but years ago it was you like you'd have you'd, 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 you'd had a fucking curry on one night, you'd had a spaghetti bolognese another night, you'd had a fucking roast on a Wednesday. Yeah. You always had fish on a Friday. Fish on a Friday. Chippy I can't remember Friday. what we had on a Tuesday. Chippy tea, you know. weren't it, lad? Even, said, even the, most of the, you know, we were catching curry, probably, yeah, you always had fish. Chips. You couldn't eat meat on a Friday. But even a lot of the schools that were like, you know, the normal state, not... Catholic schools, they didn't have any meat on a Friday just in case, you know, so it was a bit like that. But I think it's all died out, hasn't it? Or has it? I don't know. You know, Frank, I tried to get my youngest wear Catholics yeah. in a school. Yeah. And she went in, um, you know, christened and that. We have got a christen now. Yeah. Me and Billy was, you know, Billy come to the christen and the other week. Yeah. We had a, a fucking scream. But um, 
you've got to be christened still to get in the Catholic schools. But why? Are, what oh. I don't understand is, right, if you're a refugee, yeah. you can just fucking sail right in and you don't have to be christened. Yeah, but it's a crisis, isn't it? You know, for this them, is they... fucking Holy Cross down there. It's not a crisis, <laughs> lads. <laughs> they all live in the heights. <laughs> hey, this that. What's wrong, though, lad? Right, I'm not trying to offend no one. I always offend people, don't I? No, it right. is. You do, what right. it is. Yeah. But what's wrong, Frank? In they've got the um, the cross thing there, yeah. and certain religions have started coming in and putting masking tape over it. Go away, lad. What for? Why? Because they don't want the the kid wearing a cross. Uh, but what I'm saying it's a bit like, heavy uh, that isn't it it's, it's like, a bit oh, heavy lad yeah. there are traditions lad you, you know, it's, if, if you, you either believe in it or you don't and if you believe in it you're going to a Catholic church you want to see a crucifix you want to see a statue yeah. of our lady you know you don't want people outsiders coming in and changing it well I said to a fella just over there somebody rang me and he said well, Frankie can you do this thing like, whatever so he just mentioned uh, it was the 12th of June so I said uh not the 12th of July, is it? I said, <laughs> you won't be sitting there with an accordion. You know, yeah, just having a just laugh. Just having a laugh. And he went, oh, you know, couldn't get on it. Didn't like it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Where, where do you think, right, comedy's going these days? Because if you oh, can't... It's ass. It is, yeah. Because if you can't... If, like you said about Chubby Brown earlier on, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you know what? there's going to be no comedians left. What kind of comedy that we've got? We spoke about this before. You know, somebody... I just look at some of these fucking... These YouTube fucking comedians and think... Blurt, right? You haven't got. You're on your ass with your fucking your jokes. Yeah. What right? they tried to do? It's a bit. It's whoever not, it is behind again, it all. Maybe it's just a bit of a different generation. Yeah, yeah it well, maybe it is. Bill, they tried to change yeah, everything that you say. I mean, don't forget, there's people going around, Billy. To you know, to say if it was sitting here, yeah, you say don't don't say a hey, you, or you're a man and all. Call me they. Have you heard that one, Nate? Nah, fuck me, no. We spoke yeah. about the binary so, stuff. Oh, oh, mate. Nah, and really and all this about, I identify. There was oh. a fella, now I don't know whether this was a joke. A I don't think it was a joke. No, it's fucking real. There was a fella on YouTube, listen to this. You won't, won't believe this. This fella, and he's he, he, glasses on and all that, like, like a thingy. He's walking along the tube in London on, on like the platform. And uh, he, then you hear his voice, he goes, Yes, my name, he goes, my name is David and I live in Surrey. And I, he says, actually, I'm four foot 11. He said, but I identify as six foot four. So in his head. Was this real? Yeah. No, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> so in his head, he's, he wants people to think I'm six foot four. You know, like, oh, so he, he's going on the tube him, and he put his head down like that. Yeah. And then you see him talking to, and he goes to his mates, he goes, you know, I'm six four, don't you? What's going on? Yeah, you know, it's crazy, isn't it? Lad, there's one on Emmerdale. What's that? I've seen it. I don't even watch it. What is it? I try not to watch it, Bill, That's but when, you, when your when missus has got it, it on, you go, look. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm Andy Zingle back in here. That's <laughs> all, lad. How did she make you come back? But there's a kid in Emmerdale now. Is it called Binary or something? Banities, yeah. yeah. So you don't class yourself as a man and you don't class yourself as a woman. Well, what are you? It, it, what I don't it, fucking know. Is it and it, it, it got him? married. Yeah. I'll just say it got married. I, I'll fucking probably offend who, loads who of people. Who did it marry? It got a fella, the kid oh, okay. with glasses. Are you going to have the fucking vegan, the, fucking, <laughs> the, the vegan schnitzel? No, but fucking, I mean, you should be able to oh, talk about on, it. Fuck fucking safe, hell, you know mate. what I mean? With three half fellas, I'll talk about what I fucking want. Like, <laughs> you're either a man or a woman. If you're going to get me and him, that's what happens, lads. What you know do you what I mean? Expect, you know <laughs> what I mean? I mean, to be honest with you, my lad keeps saying to me, oh, you'll have to drop that out. You're... There's going to be nothing left Let's to see say. It's a joke about that. You, you, people are going to, and everyone getting offended on behalf of other people. To go on, well, you shouldn't say anything about animals. It's disrespectful to animals. All that, you know, and it, 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 soon they're going to say, uh, I identify as a table. Uh, <laughs> would you like to put a tablecloth oh, on me? What's just going on? It's just me, madness. Well, you, uh, yeah. you, um, you're an heavy fucking comedian, you do, lad. I've seen you. I'm I've, been to, I've been to one of us. Have you been to one of us? No, I haven't lad, yet, lad. fucking slags everyone off. Yeah. Of I'd be, I was fucking walking down. Just you go to toilet, I mean, you're getting it. Hey, you, four hours, where are you going? And you get fucking ripped to fucking pieces. But thank you? God, you know, it's popular. People want to see it. Yeah. People and you love it. Up. And you love yeah. it. But you know what? Right? It is like, who's you, you fucking schmackhead? People are fed up with being offended and go, you can't say that. You can't say, you know, in the end, you won't be able to have a conversation with people because mm. you go, oh, sorry, what did I go? Oh. 
what was it? What did yeah. he say then? And, and then schools, you, it's gone really bad, you know. I don't know about the schools, has it? Snowman. What's that? What's happened to the snowman? He, snowman's been fucking leg, lad. Ah, oh, you're can't messing. can't say snowman, lad. What? I don't know, I don't fucking know. Is he called Iceman? I've got a fucking clue, mate. Fuck. It's because he's a he's man. Been, he's been <laughs> leg, lad. Snow. Yeah, Why? that must be, Bill. It's because it's a man. I don't know, he's been legged. You're not allowed to say uh, snowman, lad. What about policeman? Uh, you can't get a police We'll have to get a police one, won't you? But snowman's been leg, lad. Snowman's leg. Fireman? Firewoman. No, the other go for the band Fireman Sam didn't need to hear about that last year. No. Fireman Sam, you know the car scene, Fireman yeah. Sam. They, they wanted to ban it. It's not a joke, this. Uh, it should be, f- no, firefighter, you know. Firefighter Sam. Should be, fi- all that, it uh, should be firefighter Sam. <sighs> and all this, he shouldn't show his face because you'll see that he's a man and all. I can't be asked with all this fucking political correctness. <sighs> All this like fucking sound. Look, if you're gay, you're gay. Yeah, yeah. If you're a les, you're a les. If you're straight, you're straight. Sound, I've got no problem with either, lads. So why can't we just... It's the whole binary. It's fucking round a bend, lads. Have we got that rave that right? I haven't got a clue? That what it means, Bill? You don't identify yourself as something? Yeah, yeah. Or are we just fucked here, I lads? don't know. I mean, it's all You don't like... identify yourself as a male or a female? That's Is that what binary means? Yeah. Well, what was that other thing our think. kids were saying the other week and we were both laughing about oh, it oh yeah when um, me, me and I said, yeah, and I I said, said to her something about a room and I said oh you know you know, something about being a girl and you got to clean your room and she went because I'm a girl you know what I mean oh, just fucking... clean your fucking room will you <laughs> no but like jump on me is, that, this, but... is that offensive now if you say I don't know girl clean your room to be honest with you yeah there's more important things in the world, isn't it? You know, yeah. I know what about them poor kids over the there, kids you know, in, where the Ukraine, war and all that. I mean, that. getting slaughtered, it, it, it's beyond, it's like a horror film. And, you know, I mean, it's a terrible thing. getting slaughtered. I haven't seen one of this, lads. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the Russians are bombing like blocks of flats, apartments, and there's, there's millions of refugees, isn't it? They're all trying to get to France and come here and Belgium and all this. There's no way for them to live because where they live is all being blown up. A lot of them are in the underground, the subways and the sheltering. I but, thought um, they got, have they not got all the kids out then? No. no. And well, I'm, I'm look, I sad, know, lads. I know, like, there's two Fucking sides. Sad, man. There's, there's two sides to every story, isn't he? And, like, you know, you can read both sides and, like, I'm not too sure what the fuck is going no, on. Neither I have got I believe, a clue, But I believe, like, um, Russia have got a bit of beef with Ukraine over a bit of history, um, and you know I'm but not. Billy, there's no. I don't know, beef. mate. I just I don't you really. Know, you wouldn't blow pay attention to the nose. So would you set fire to it? What's it all about? I don't know. Just is it a bar? Is it out? a bar gas or something? No, it's just about Ukraine's an independent country. Used to be part of Russia. Now Russia want to take. I it know, back. but people are saying the Americans want the gas there and all that. You don't know what to believe. I haven't got a clue, why, lad. Why do you have to go to war over it? That's what I'm saying. Why can't he sit down and table and discuss candy, it? You know? The reality is there's a lot of propaganda. We're getting uh, fed by the media uh, information that, you know, we, we some people believe to be true. Some know it's untrue. And, you know, we're getting information passed around to us from other people and you don't know what the fuck's going on. Really, it's like that fella who unzipped himself in the body bag. When's Did that? you see that? No. Yeah, Did but you was, see yeah, it, I see it, but do you think that video was a like... Well, might have been I don't fucking black, know lads don't I haven't got a clue you? Well, he has all so dead easy. bodies lined yeah. up in the black bags yeah. and as the news reporters talking lads one fella zipped himself out or zipped himself up didn't he Frank and it, the camera caught it behind the news reporters so, saying is there's that so just many showing, dead you know, so I don't know I don't know lads I haven't got a clue social media and the news oh. you just don't know what's what anymore lad. it leaves the average Joe just dead confused doesn't it so the, the situation, whatever, is very dangerous. I just don't want you people know, dying. That's the yeah. sad thing about it. You just don't want people dying. Whatever. I mean, to be honest, case. I can't watch the news now. It's I don't watch sick. it, lads. No, don't I don't you? watch it, no. mate. No. I did initially watch it to see what was going on, and then I just pretty quickly stopped, turned it off, and thought, you know what? It's 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 not fucking feeding my fucking. It's not giving me the right energy. It doesn't do yeah. you any no. good, does no. it? No. Doesn't. No. It makes you feel ill. You know, you, yeah. It's like it's like YouTube channels, lad. I've stopped scrolling and looking because I find there's a lot of toxic fucking channels that, yeah. you know, and platforms that are just just aims at just fucking causing negative fucking disruption and disharmony, and there's no need for it. And I think, all right, you know, I want a platform that's that's having a laugh, it's positive, we're out there, and there's you know, enough going on in the world. Like the fella next door to me. This was last Wednesday, it was. I looked out the window first thing in the morning, heard the door. When I looked out, I saw an ambulance and a busy police car. Anyway, 
about ten minutes later, his little lad come out, strapped to this thing, and a paramedic was banging him into the ambulance. So I said to the copper, I went down on my shorts, I said, what's up? He said, uh, he swallowed a pound coin. Anyway, must have been about 12 o'clock that night, I heard a taxi going, and I saw Billy, for the next door, come out, getting out of the taxi, and he shouted, Billy, how is he? He said, no change. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you fucking reels it in. <laughs> fucking that mad way. one. <laughs> yeah, but it's mad, it's mad, isn't it, what the fucking, the uh, Russians are doing to those poles. <laughs> Put mop heads on yeah, them. That was you another one. Really. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. You've got to use that Friday and he lets <laughs> out. Boom, boom. You just sold out, though, haven't you, Frankie? Yeah, you we just sh- well. You just sold out. It's yeah, just, right, that's, that's a big one. 670 yeah. something. It'll be 700 by uh, Friday. Yeah, we're just on a bit. I've, I've selling out completely. Where's that in, lads? Bolton, Bolton, Bolton. Albert Souls. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy up there. You're on the radio this morning. On the Bolton radio, yeah. So the Bolton crowd, you know, they're, they're not obviously the same as Scouts as we're kind of like very difference in a lot of ways but they love a good laugh the Bolton crowd and mm. they're another crowd they don't mind when you pick on them you know you yeah. just, they just laugh they're that kind of people you know what I mean you get something like this is the only place really I don't get I'm a dad in a wolf scout so I love Liverpool and everything yeah. but this is the only place where you've got to watch because you say something to someone and you can just kick off you know what I mean yeah I don't have to tell you you work on a door yeah. all your life you just don't know you can say something and uh what was that? What, what, you know, but other places, they just try and laugh it off. The, the little bits on a short fuse, aren't they? That's yeah. the same thing about Liverpool, right? A lot of people just want to be in our case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right, lad? And they can't yeah. take a joke and all that. Everyone's got to be dead hard. They're looking the to la- prove themselves all I know, the but Frankie, the last time some of, some of them had a fight, two fucking dinner ladies broke it up, lad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But they still go on like I'm the... Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah. saying it in, lad. Be asked listening to you. But what you get here and you don't seem to get it. Oh, have you ever had all that where you're standing at the bar? You know, I've had it loads of times. And they're coming up and they're going, uh, do you know so and so and all that? All people's names and all that. Then yeah. have you had that way they're taking you through a fight that they've had? Oh, and they're going, <laughs> anyway, I had a fella. And you can see, Bill, you know more than me, that when they're, because Billy's boxed, when they're throwing zigs, they've no never way, thrown yeah, one in no their life. Way, yeah. It's mm. all like you know, fucking it, Tim. You're mace. not hitting no one with Listen that one. This is this other mate, this Danny, and he's telling me the story. And when he saws you, he always reminds me of Ed with G. Robinson, you know, the gangster. Yeah. And he's he saw you, he's going, "How's it going?" All right, you know. All right, he's going, "Yeah." I go, "Are you still uh, with Vicky?" Then you're there. Then you're there. What happens? <laughs> I went, "No, no. She's with a busy. Once she was going out with this busy." And I said, "Oh no, I didn't know." Yeah, yeah. They were together and all that. I came on the scene, I chased him. Lived up here, uh, Menlo Avenue and all that. And all. He was a top busy and all that. So he's telling a story. So I said, <laughs> the way this is going, this is going, it's getting more violence all the time. And you could see him, he's going, this is the best I've ever heard. Yeah. You know, it? Not like this, you like. So he goes, <laughs> I'm sitting there one night with a, and a phone goal. And she said, leave it. I said, no, answer it. So a fellow went like that. It was the busy. And he went, is that Sammy? Yeah. And did she used to go with him? The yeah, busy? but it was supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah. It was supposed to be. All right. So uh, are you sitting there with my bed? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, she said, oh, you better go get your taxi. And he went, I'm going nowhere. He said, it just starts limping up like that. <laughs> he said, listen to this one. He goes, I'd sit around and after half an hour, he's not coming, I made a cup of tea. <laughs> it's a terrible crash. <laughs> he comes right through the window. He's just... <laughs> he's so I ran up to him, and I'm like an inch away from him. And he nearly knocked me out there, and he went, and I went, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and all the glass and all that, then he went, shh, blood everywhere, and he falls back. So she's screaming, so it hits him, so she's clawing at me. Then he starts to... By the time I got home, that's shell shock. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, well, that was a golly. I had a mate like that. Why, why do you need all that? Why do you need a big story? <laughs> oh, I had a story mate like that. But you oh, wonder, is any of it true? Oh, um, no, probably not, innit? Yeah. No, I had a mate like that. I, you know, every time I went round, it was like a fucking Rambo movie. You'd go there, lad. And you, I was like, fucking hell, I'm frightened to even fucking, fucking have a conversation with him. Was yeah. you all sort of fighting all the time, yeah? Yeah, but he's calmed down a lot now. Like, uh, but in the, you know, when he was fucking coming around and he was brand new and he was still fucking living, you know, that street mentality. 
you just get out of the fucking out of out of the shovel and you you walk it's it's because you, you, you live in a different world people who are in prison you know what it's like it's a fucking fight to survive most of the time 99 percent of it you come out if you've been there institutionalized for a long time you come out you still got that way of fuck about you having that's why most people go back mm. to jail because yeah. they can't survive they can't survive and live productively outside i yeah. think if you live in liverpool and maybe other cities as well not that you get paranoid but you're always you know you've got like a you're a careful aren't you in certain situations you know just a little because th- you know it's so easy you could be out couldn't you and come someone could say something could be with a gang of fellas and if you say something back and then you go what was that all that you know yeah. it could just it could just blow up so easy but talking about them fellas it's like i left here a while ago bill a couple of weeks ago with the two you la- two young lads who've just finished saying and my eldest daughter so they were walking into town the gym's only five minutes from town mm. And sees this fella over the road. And I used to work with him years ago. He was his year's house, by the way. Do you oh. know what I mean? And I thought, oh, there's blah, blah. I used to work with there. Sees me. Comes over, running over. Sees him with two kids who look, you know, big kids. You know what I mean? And I'm with me daughter. And he must have thought, I'm going to make something up here. I went, it's all right, lad. I went, it's all right, kid. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Funny, you know. Just knock some fella out and he has the... Go away. Lads, and I thought, you haven't. Yeah. It was all for them two young kids to go. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, I said, why were out there? You know what I mean? He went saying, this fella giving me a bit of shit. I just went, fuck off. No, it was one of them. You can't throw a dick, Bill. He went, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking went on his ass and he has to knock them out, lads. And I just went, see you later, mate. Yeah. And I said to the two kids, fucking blate him. Yeah. But this, that's the way it is. And, and you know what? Do you know what? That, some of them fellas. I think most of the time, people who feel like inadequate or insecure about themselves, that's the, yeah. the way they... He's seen two it? big kids, lad, and oh. he must have thought, I'm going to impress these here. And the yeah. two young kids, nice kids, just went, yeah. who's the blurt, lad? Yeah. It's embarrassing, mate, You don't it? need it, do you? No. You just don't need it at all. As I say, the, it, what you've just said, very true, it's all about Liverpool people. There's too many fellas who just want to be recognised for being a big hard case. And the cemeteries are full of them. Yeah. You know, you can go Allen and Cemetery, wherever you want to go. Loads of fellas that, you know, that we know that, you know, have got on the wrong side of someone else. They've just been killed because yeah. he thought they were dead hard and mm. started bullying people. No one thinks he's a bully anymore. Do no, they? Years, no, you can't. Years you can't ago, it was, um, you know, it was it was the fucking, it was, it was no one battered an eyelid, did he? No. It, was, it was fucking every look, common way. When we were young, there were some terrible bullies in the city. Oh, no. yeah. These oh, kids mate. today, don't give them the joke. Why you don't hear of it now? You know why? Because the kids will just smoke them, give them yeah. the joke. Yeah. No one gets bullied no more. Some kid, ten stone kid, will just fucking nah. take your money pop off your taxes. fucking wig off. See, you know, you, you read these yeah. stories, don't you? You know, the fucking echo tells a lot, on it? But, you know, you read these stories from back in the day and, you know, there was a lot of bullies out there, you know, taxing people, robbing yeah. people, robbing grafters. You know, they, they call them grifters. You know, they go yeah. like fucking... Well, I, I won't mention his name, but this fella, he was a big hard case years ago. And I was in Allenton Cemetery and there was his tombstone on a tombstone. I said, who are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> you got the last word in Frank <laughs> did he no. oh, fuck off Billy oh, Billy hasn't been saying that I'll give you that one Frank it was a gun mate it was a gun ah oh, fucking hell but even as parents now you're scared to say anything like that you know like my ma, like, oh, my, oh ma's years ago and that some of the fucking stuff they'd say to me I remember like me and our kid arguing, you had to say, I'll come up and I'll knife the fucking bear. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> you know, that was the same way. Couldn't I'll fucking say knife it. the bear. Yeah, you couldn't lad. say You're it. Mad. I couldn't say it. <laughs> Obviously, it never happened. Oh, no yeah, one's mad, but that was the kind of stuff but that would be too, you'd be like in trouble now for saying it. Your kids oh, could be bored. Yeah. Hey, my mum just says she's got yeah. a knife for me. Oh, I'm going to keep it around. Social my, yeah. services. My dad had the weird, my dad had the oddest shells ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, fuck, I'll fucking kill you to death. Yeah. Kill you to death. No, no, that's what he used to say. You to think, fucking, you're going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you to say, death. That was it. I'll kick you, fr- I'll kick you from falling. Do you ever hear that? No, no, it's that. I'll kick you from falling. And what did that one? I just kept you up in the air with a kick. That's an 18th century saying that. No, it's not very funny. I'll smack smack the grin off your face and all that, wouldn't it? That one, mate. (laughs) Well, I remember my grandmother used to come out with some things 
I said, I think I've told this before. I don't think I've told it on here. Of he had an argument. This woman in the street took my ball. Remember, if you if you bore at the window, they'd yeah, come out and take a the knife ball fifty shouts as well, knife through yeah. your ball. Yeah, and this one, I thought she was a hard case, but my grandmother was fucking big, you know. But this one had like must have been like acne on her face, yeah. you know. So my grandmother come out, and she saw her going. And she said, "Hey, potty jock face." What? <laughs> Never heard that again since. Yeah, yeah. Potty jock. Then she went, I'll drag your entrails. Fucking <laughs> hell, entrails. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff like that's died off. Hasn't yeah. it? You don't hear it anymore. No, you don't hear it It's anymore. even like the old legends, you know, like Spring Hill Jack. Yeah. I've mentioned this to me, lad, and he goes, what's that? You know. I know how old your lad now. Stacey? Yeah. But he doesn't remember Spring Hill no, Jack. he doesn't, you know. But you know, it's the traditions, isn't it, old? Yeah. So you're not allowed to scare anyone now anymore, are you? Well, you can't because you give them an oh, answer. No, that. like, you know, like, you, you're not allowed to really, you know, scare fucking kids. Do you know, like, you're like, they're like, you're not fucking jump out yes. of them. I just mean, like, I'm good at now, like the fucking. kids are like really nesh, aren't they? Yeah, there's another one, nesh. Nesh, nah, you I don't hear say, that anymore. You're nesh. I've never heard that. Like, nesh. Nah. Which means you're a bit of a fucking gimp, what you've never heard of now. Never heard of it. Haven't you, Bill, no? No, seriously. You're, so they, you're from they, speak, though, Billy. No way. <laughs> you never heard of someone saying, you know what he used to who's the cock of the school? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. They don't, I don't think they say that anymore, they go like that. No. I remember when my lad was at school, he was 10, 20 yeah. years he's ago. The but it's probably yeah. even worse now. I says to my lad, who's the cock of the school? He went, oh, there's no bullying. <laughs> <laughs> I went, yeah. don't you have never had a fight? No. <sighs> Oh, there used to be loads of fights oh, back in the day. We had a thing. Anyone who went to our school, I know everyone who comes on your school, your podcast, there been a few that went to camping. Yeah. We had a golly pit. Yeah. Kid, people used to get thrown yeah. to fight. And he was kids. They were only about that fucking big and they'd be on. And I remember thinking, wow, mate. And anyone who had a fight, and I remember the two hard cases having a fight in school, and everyone just going... <laughs> we're just gone here, greenies. Where did them greenies come from? You got kids about all, that big. All the kids got must the have been full of kids. Ah, yeah. yeah. But do you remember that one? It would only need someone. So I remember walking up and I had a few of my mates with me, so I could, I've got to save face, yeah. you know. And this lad, I was saying, I was 17 then, and he went, all right. And a fellow went like that to me. He lived down Edge Lane where we lived, and I didn't really know them, but he went, sir, all right, Frankie, yeah. Uh, do you know Mickey Warbo? And I said, yeah, I know Mickey Warbo, yeah, why? He said, he said, he'd fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that was one, isn't it? Yeah, that was one, yeah. Oh. And he was, what did Mickey Warbo yeah. say about him? Yeah. And he was, he said, he'd fuck you. Yeah. I was. So I remember the rage, yeah. you know, like that. This is, this is a funny story, this. So we used to go to this park, and everyone used to go to the park, like about seven o'clock at night. So when I asked me, mate, Les. How old was you then, Frank? I was 17. Yeah. So I said, uh, thought a bit younger, 16. I said, Les, come ahead, gonna go and look for that Mickey Warbo. And I didn't really know my dear's name was Mickey Warbo. <coughs> and he told us he was a big hard case, so I was. And I was like, what? Well, I said, uh, Les, uh, j- uh, j- will you jump? I said, I'll jump in for you if he's getting a better here. You know that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or drag him off and yeah. all that. No one's jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mate, but he'd stop here if you were winning, you know, one of them. So I'd say, if I'm knocking fuck out, don't come near me, you know. No, no, no. Only if it looks stingy, you know. If I thought I'm getting, can't breathe or not, it's all right. So I'm walking <laughs> in the park and I saw him, he was on a swing. He had like chewy and I was a couple of songs, a couple of birds, he had a pair of white kettles. Well, I was on the door at 17, like, <laughs> Mickey Warbo was on a swing, lads. No, he's just fucking about, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like that, on a swing like that. And I'm walking over to him, walking, I kept saying to myself, I was going to say, I believe you'll fuck me, Mickey Warbo. <laughs> and I walked up to him and I'd repeat it that many times. The name even sounds an like case, Frank, doesn't it? I said, Are you Mucky Weirbo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mucky Weirbo. And he went, What? <laughs> and then my mate said, I believe you're going to fuck him. He went, I never said that. Who told yeah. you that? Yeah. Are you looking for the other fella then? You know all that, you know. But you know, funny, you know, like every area has a bully, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I, I was a little bit of a crafty cunt, Bill. And I remember leaving our block to go to me Nana's on like three blocks down, Frank. And I seen him. And he was on an old fucking bike, you know. They used to boss at wheelies, weren't they? Hard cases, lad. And I went, fucking, 
Oh, it's a fucking grab me here. Do we seem to corner you like that in here? Oh, you know, like a greenie. Kids love greenies. What sounds the kids with rubber greenies around there? It's always called someone called Smart Ragworthy. Fucking big green hanging down anyway. Sorry. I remember him saying, I thought, oh, what would I say to this cunt here, mate? He's going to fucking. But it was a bit crafty. And I used this line on him. So he comes down, he fucking skidded the bike next to me, jumped off the bike, and I went, all right. And I went, listen, there's some fella up the top there, right, in a white van, and he's throwing kids in the back of them, and he went, he laid down then, Bill, you know what I mean? He was like, where? Where? And I went, up the top there. He went, oh, all right, go on, go on, go on. I thought, thank fuck for that boss lie there, mate. <laughs> Say, put another one there with them on <laughs> his sleeve, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty little cunt of toss. I'm not getting fucking golly daddy here off one of them horrible greenies he's got lad it's like dangle him no one remember as well I remember some kid shitting his kex and he was all shit hanging down and two older lads had him like that we used to call him shitty ass and he was just all hanging down I remember him running at me we were all shit oh my God. he were really dirty in the 80s lads <laughs> but lads. if you remember it was when, ass, you were, when you were a kid these big R cases you looked up to them like gods weren't they God, you were God's he had a big as name well, as well lad. but I remember this fella called Sonny Jones anyway he was like a big R case and my brother used to talk about him lived in our street he'd been in Borstal and all that he was only 14 15 he's just got out of Borstal and he flashed the fella's skull with an iron bar and he was nuts and all that but when I used to see me, he liked me. Yeah. So he used to call for me. But I didn't, didn't like going out with him, you know. Then one night, I'm just sitting in the house, he knocked on my door, he went, all right, Frank. I said, all right, sonny, how's it going? He went, it's my birthday. <laughs> I went, come out, come to town with me. I was oh, no, imagine if I go to town, I'm only 60, he might kick off murder and all that, or get locked up and police and all that, be in jail and all Oh, anyway. But just showing you what... Big R case, not scared of anyone. But I didn't know he was terrified of insects. So we're going down the street, it was a summer's day, and a moth, like a butterfly, landed on his shoulder. And he went, Oh! <laughs> I went, You're all right? He went, Get this butterfly off me, la! Get this fucking butterfly off me, la! <laughs> so I just went like that and knocked it off. Couldn't go to town. Thank God he was destroyed. And a woman whose step he was sitting on, she came out, she'd all right, and we like, fucking big butterfly there. Crying. Wow, yeah. Hell. Funny, isn't it? Did he smoke? Oh, like it. I bet you smoked, didn't you, Billy? Really? As a kid? Front. No, no. Didn't you? No. Yeah. Do you, I Frank? Didn't... Yeah. I didn't oh, start, I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't smoke till I was a You know when you see kids, and he were about 10 or 12, where do you smoke? He was horrible, and he'd send fellas into shops for Lucy's, and he'd come out, and he was like, something out of Bugsy Malone, lad, and he'd always have a ciggy there, and he'd be outside the shop, when he'd pull a little horrible gob like a rat, and he'd go. <laughs> All time the nose. <laughs> yeah, and you'd go, fucking hell, he's hard him, mate, isn't he? That's right. Fucking, he would, lad, yeah. you smoked, you used to think, oh, he's an hard kid, him, mate. Now he's smoking a fucking joke. Well, it wasn't even smoke. Anyone smoke, smoke yeah. ciggies? They're all it's they're fucking all, horrible. It's manky, isn't it? They're all on the face, joke. aren't they? It was yeah. a ritual, wasn't it? To yeah. show how hard you were. Even how you lit your ciggy. Yeah. Like that flick. You'd say, wouldn't you? Fucking right, God. Fuck fuck that that James Dean. If you were talking to someone, if you were a big hard case, he wouldn't reply to you, say, so wait, he'd like to say, you go, hey, mate, didn't you? And they go, then it's go like that, like a movie. Like Clint Eastwood, and he'd yeah. breathe it all in, and he'd go. <laughs> then you look at him, go, why? <laughs> <laughs> then fucking hell, he's hard, him. Yeah, dead hard, because he smokes ciggies. <laughs> there is some fucking name. Um, it, it is, what would you rather have? What's, what we had back then, or what we've got today? It's, it's What we've got today, it's like we've got what? We've got... Fucking hell, we're living in, in, a, in, a, in a... Very strange oh, times, really, isn't it? Yeah, weird, lads. Strange the times. last 10 years, it's gone round a bend, hasn't it? Round a bend, Let's be honest, crazy. the last 10 years has gone round a bend. Not just the political correct everything, stuff. Like, just everything, your way of life and all that, and you can't really... I mean, the number of times... I remember when I was a kid, I was watching this thing about Russia on the telly, and one of my mates said to me, you know, if you go to that Russia, I believe uh, if you go in your car, you go somewhere, do you get stopped in a busy... The police go, where are you going? And I go, oh, wait, the same here now. You know, if you get in your car and you drive and they see your place, you're from Liverpool and you're down south, a good chance you'll get stopped. What are you doing? Where are you going? And all that yeah, but you, the, the county the line's here. geared county up, line. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but even whatever it is, there's no freedom of movement, is there? Mm. I've been stopped loads of times because you see a Liverpool edge. What's yeah. he doing in South Wales? 
first thing they think, as you say, the drugs they stop you. Yeah. Don't think you're the comedian, look. Like. No, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but back down to what what we've got now. I mean, the kids that we, you know, the kids today don't know what it was like back then. Bill, it's yeah. only ten years ago. Most of it, though, lad, like social media. It's for like. So how long's what social? How long social media been? It, it, it exploded when. I don't know, Bill. Was it was about two thousand and fuck? I'd say it was about two thousand, two thousand and six, seven. And then Instagram, I'd say about 2015, 15. 16, was it? Like? You see, what it is, what's so sad, yeah. I think, about this generation, they're glued to the phones, and but they're a little bit naive. All these poor kids that get attacked walking home from town on their own. Yeah. You know, they're not streetwise. No. I would never have gone to town on my own, you know what I mean? No, like, I did, I used to always go to town on my own. We're yeah. like Carl Street, that's where yeah. we, you know what I mean? You, know, you could look at the kids Without today, being paranoid, Street, you, you know, you don't, you've got to be careful, because yeah. some rats, they go, oh, he's on his own, we'll do him in, yeah. just to look good, you know? Yeah. But so, there's too many smudges about now as well, and, and, but they, I don't think they fucking matter, to be fair, because, you know, with the mask wearing... That we had, that was yeah. everyone now. The kids, it's an excuse to have a fucking, a, a fucking bandana on, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, and a belly on. But it is the, like all this social media and stuff. Now we're nowhere on it going on YouTube. That's social media, isn't it? Yeah. But it does give people mental health, lad. I think. Do you know so, what I mean? Yeah. They're looking at it now and they're comparing to the, their lives yeah. to him or comparing themselves to that person, looks, clothes, money, cars, you name it, mate. And they're trying to keep up, and then high, people yeah. are getting very jealous. And that he person, pissed, yeah. that person might not even have that. What you think he's got? It's yeah. all a load of shite. But it's affecting kids bad, I think. But what you've said yeah. earlier on, you know, is true. Everybody in Liverpool, anyway, or ev- it used to be the case. Everyone wants to be a big art case, but everybody wants to be a movie star. All the girls want to be film stars, don't they? Mm. And it, you know. All the girls that you see, oh, they're all trying to be the car that she was. You know, movie stars. Oh, that was a fucking nightmare. No, you were in a movie. Bill. I'm not saying, don't mean no, that No, what way, happened you know what was, Billy will tell you, right? Yeah. So, me and him done that Liverpool narcos, didn't we? Yeah. Ugh. And I got, just telling you, and I, lads, I got ah, to tell him everything. It was heavy, lads. And um, I got, I got on well with the director, didn't we? Both did Anthony's sound. Yeah. Big shout out to Anthony there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Anthony there. Anyway. The we got both got on well with him and him. He was a good laugh, you know what I mean? So he said to me at the end of it, listen, do you fancy doing a bit more of this acting? And it was good to go in. And yeah. so I said, yeah, you know, you know, fucking sorry, mate, if anything comes up. So he went, I'm, I want to work with you again, right? Yeah. So I thought, fucking hell, mate, I'm flying here, you know what I mean, Bill? So that was last year. Okay, no. About a month ago, he gets in touch with me, Frank. Yeah. So he gets in... Um, I had my phone off. I went to get the kids from school and my phone had run out of battery. So when it gets in, my mates have been messaging me going, Aunt, I meet a man, Emil, and Anthony's been trying to get in touch with you there, lad. He thinks you're blanking him. I said, right. Anthony, the director, Anthony. I said, oh, okay. So next minute he messages me, hi, Darren, would you be interested in trying out for a part for Channel 5? Huh? You can't say things like that to me, Frank. You know, I, I had the fucking part of my own head, mate. You know what I mean? That didn't I? <laughs> so I was funny, you know. So he goes, um, look, I'm going to send you, lad. I'm going to, um, the casting agency got an email. What's your email? I have fucking got one, lad. I don't know what the email is. I said to me, missus, do us a fucking email. Just do us an email. So my daughter's like, yeah, dad, I'll do you an email anyway. Sends it over to him and he sends me this script. But about three days later, she sent me a book. Billy, I'll tell you, I can't keep my own piss, Frank. Oh, I mean, mate, went, don't sound low one, lads, you know what I mean? I went, all right, I couldn't fucking sleep that night, Frank. <laughs> Didn't know what it was. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to play like a Russian here, aren't I, or something like that, you know what I mean? The war hadn't kicked off yet, Bill. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, what am I going to be? I couldn't sleep that night. Gets up in the morning, comes in here. I think my first client was about six. <laughs> me, mate, Mark, and I went... Don't tell him that. Don't fucking say fuck all to your mate. Keep it to yourself. All right, Mark. All right, lad. Shout out to Ain't Three Cars there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Mark. And he goes, yeah, I went, funny, you know. Said, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That fella from the pool, Narcos, has been in touch. Now, he asked me to read for a part, yeah. but I turned a butty on it, Bill, and I said, yeah, he's offered me a part, and he hadn't. Yeah. He said, you want to read for a part, but oh, to me, well. you fucking offered me one, lad. Yeah. You've offered me one. <laughs> I don't yeah. get up for parts every day, do we, lad? So, you offered me one. 
So he went, so what's that? I said, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm playing yet. <laughs> I told fucking every client that day you come in. I think I even told the lads in the mental health class, didn't I, Bill? <laughs> that I do. You know, big shout out to the mental health class there. And um, so everyone for weeks now, have you heard of him? Um, not No, to be honest, lads, but, you know, he's throwing a butty on again. I'm up there, mate. I'm up there. He's like, here's off, Anthony. Yeah. No, but fucking hell, I think I've got it, Bill. No. So he then sends me the part, right? And it was in Lith- it's in Lithuania, isn't it? Yeah. It's a it's a drama for Channel Five in Lithuania in four parts. And he sends me the part, right? So we went, there's no more thingies, you know the way you used to go down and do what did they call? Yeah, reading, casting. Casting. Reading. Yeah, there's casting. There's none of them. Yeah. Now because of COVID, you do them online and send them a tape. Okay. So self tapes the call. Self tapes. Okay. So I've got the fucking Maui. And I'm like that with the Maui. Oh, come on, look at this, mate. And I was playing someone's granza. <laughs> fucking hell, Frank. You know what I mean? 46, lad. They're throwing the years on me here, lad. Playing someone's granza. And um, the kid was called Finn Taylor, and he gets kidnapped. I know the fucking story off my heart, Bill. I read everyone else's lines as well. And the kid's called Finn Taylor. And your Finn, Finn gets kidnapped, you know, his ma's fucking up the wall. I'm a bit of a bum. And it comes back. So anyway, I'm like that with the thing. So I had to do the lines. You know, I'm like, all right, lads, has anyone seen Finn Taylor? I had to do it in a woolly back voice. Yeah. I thought I was fucking flying, lads, so I had to go to a group. The first line was, I had to go to all these kids like hoodies in this fucking that thing yeah. of flats and Finn's being kidnapped and I had to go up and go, all right, lads, has anyone seen Finn Taylor? Finn's my grandson, just yeah. trying to find him. Look, I've got £36 in my pocket now, you can tell me where he is. I like the kids are like, fuck off, copper. I'm not a copper, I'm Finn's granddad, I'm just trying to find him. Kid, I thought I'd done a well be oh. fucking thing. <laughs> By the end of it, me four-year-old was going, Dad, has anyone seen Finn ah. Taylor? <laughs> Dad, they got the old fucking gym knew who Finn Taylor was. I was pacing up and down here, gigs on. Finn Taylor, Finn Taylor. And then he went, hmm, Darren, uh, we don't like your Northern accent. Can you do it in a uh, Scouse? But you're a bit thick Scouse accent. So he said, can you calm it down? Uh, so I had to calm it uh, down. I'm sending all these fucking tapes. So everyone's going, what have you heard? What have you heard? So he did send me a message and he went, all right, mate. So I've sent them away to the bosses and it's up to them to fucking decide whether you've got the part. So I've got the part, Frank. I'm not oh, thinking, there's no bosses. He's the fucking boss. I've got the part. <laughs> and I'm going around here. I'm going, what's your name? Do you reckon I'll get wage-wise on that, lad? And like my mate's going, grand as a lads, grand as a <laughs> He hasn't even fucking been a pantomime, lads, you know what I mean? Mate's going, easily a grand as a day. That's what you should be asking for. Taking fucking grand a day. I'm buying that fucking mansion on Bebo Bank, mate, if I get that grand a day, I'll get one with a telescope in, you know what I mean, Bill? <laughs> fucking so I'm waiting, Frank, two fucking weeks and I'm oh waiting. My God. Anyway, gets in the um, the taxi. Lads, I just got to tell everyone, I can't hold me own piss, uh-huh. taxi driver. Gets in, I went, all right, mate, about five of fucking clock in the morning. Yeah. He mate went, I can't pick you up this morning. I so thought, I'll meet me own way. I get in the taxi, I went, all right, mate. All right, where to, pal? Vauxhall Road, please, mate. Don't say fuck all about Finn Taylor, lads. Don't say nothing about Finn Taylor. You make the come to yourself, don't say nothing about Finn Taylor. I went, as I have proper, you know when Peter Gay says taxi direct? Yeah. I had taxi direct, I had to talk to him, lads, and I'm like, I was squeezing me leg, Bill, and I thought, lad, don't, you know, you're making a cunt to yourself. Don't start going on about Finn Taylor. And I went, funny, in it, mate? He was just driving a cab, and he went, why, what's that, lad? I went, just speed off. <laughs> 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 and he just went, lad. And he went, oh, yeah? Back to the eye. And I went, no, not really, mate, but like this, that, and And I told him me the life story, lad. <laughs> Cut the story short. I got fucking leg from the past. Didn't even get Never it, lad. From him, yeah, there, but he just went, he got down to the last three, lad. See you later. Okay. I got legged. But, lad, it was a terrible month, mate. Do you know what I mean, Frank? I had the part, didn't I, Bill? I told everyone. You build things up in your mind, don't you? Yeah, you always do, don't That's you? You build them up in your mind. Put a butty on it. Everyone throws a sarny on it. kind of so happy something's going well for you. Yeah. You can see, you can see kind of like things that aren't gonna happen, you know, in your mind. Yeah, well, I've got a uh, something positive coming up with your will. 
Yeah. Here we've got a live. This is the first time I've contained it, Darren. I haven't shared it with anyone. I've got yeah. a live. No, you told me a while ago. A live, yeah. It's you, just you. No one else. Yeah. We've, got a, we've got a live podcast with the account Leech yeah. um, coming up. Now, how does it feel, Frankie? Because I've never done one, you know. I've never yeah. actually done a show like you've done yeah. in, the, in that sense. So, what are your thoughts on it? What are your, what's your guidance? Well, I mean, you don't have to perform like a comic or a speaker. No, I know that. You're just interviewing Carlton Leach, aren't you? Are you interviewing him, Bill? I'm interviewing Carlton Leach. He's coming down. Uh, we've got it all set Was up. he in the Essex boys, He's Billy? The, yeah, so I don't really know much, you know, to be fair, I don't really know, know much about Carlton Leach. I don't know much about the Essex boys. I've seen it. I've, I've read a few books, but I don't really know much about the the background. I and think some lads got killed in a Range Rover. Yeah, and I've, seen, yeah, that, I've seen all the movies and that, yeah. lad, yeah. yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I've, I've worked with Carlton Leach. Yeah, have you said that, And there's you? another fella, Kaz Pennant. I know Cash. Yeah. He's the big body is builder. He a isn't black he? guy, yeah. yeah. Is he, he a football hooligan? Was he? I think he was. A, yeah, wasn't he? Dave? Has he got a glass eye, Cash? I'm not sure, but is he from Birmingham? No, the London. Yeah, Cash. But is. I've worked with both of them a couple of times, yeah. really, and the good lads. But Carlton, he can speak as well, you know. Yeah. So you won't be. Don't be thinking. Oh, I'm going to ask him a question. No, no, it'll be. Going to say yes or no. He just speaks on his own. He'll talk. He's just like us. You know, mm. So we're going to have a show. Nice lad, yeah. We're going to have a live podcast. The All or Not podcast with Billy Moore. It's going to be live. We're going to interview Carlton Leach. And going forward, we're going to start getting guests on board and going around the country. This is the plan. Like, let's hope it works. If it doesn't, same for the penny and for the pound, isn't it? Well, yeah, I know he's written only have book. a goal, lad, he, can't he, you? He's written it. the book, hasn't he, Carlton Leach, as well. So you want to try and get hold of his book and read it. And he'll I know, but I think... think he, do you know doing that? Do you know if he just goes in blind? Yeah. yeah. It's, true, it's lad. better, lads, isn't yeah. it? I think, because, like, then you've got questions in your head out of the book where if you just go in blind and just see, ask that's them what questions. Yeah. I see someone said, oh, Billy Moore let me on the podcast and he didn't ask any questions. Lad, I haven't got a fucking question. I've never asked you a question. I haven't come with a list of I questions. You didn't even know what we were going to talk about tonight, lad. What I said to your kid, I said I haven't got a fucking clue what me, Frankie and uh, Darren are going to talk about. You it's know, the convo, innit? Yeah, we're just going yeah. to just shit down. Well, I think happening. it's been very good, been interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's been, it's been very, yeah, and that's the best way. So when you just talk about, like, you talk about uh, asking questions, if I know what's coming, I mean, for one, for aren't that's so to speak, and you've got a bit of information. But yeah, a little bit of background is going to help. But like, what I want to know is, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. You'll tell me about you. And then I'll go, oh yeah, really? I can identify with that. And relate a little bit back to what you've said to me. If not, then I'll, it'll lead on. It'll always lead Bill, on to another question. you've done interviews yeah, anyway. You know what yeah. you're doing, lads. So, so just look, crack on. So Billy, will come forward. to you on the nights as well, you know. I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I think, you know. When is it, Bill? What's the date? I think it's it's in May. I think in the nineteenth of May. I'm not too sure if that's rock solid, but we're gonna start selling tickets soon. So I'm looking forward to to, to seeing that. But me, my man, I'm like you, Darren. Right, I'll build a fucking big mad picture. I'll be shitting here on me jack, <laughs> right? And no one will be there. You know, one of them. Fucking yeah. me, ma, me, ma, and our Joe will be shitting I'll in be the audience. Sitting there with a top hat and cane. If I was in it, lad. <laughs> I mean, millions. you never know. It's like when Will, me lad, you know, you organise all the shows for me. You know? I always feel better once he's sold a certain amount of tickets. Yeah, of course, you know. Frank, yeah. But it, it, I don't know, it's like this one. You know, this is probably the most we've ever done, maybe. Yeah, he's yeah, you know. fucking happy you're flying so with this one, aren't you? But it, it hasn't made me nervous. I don't get nervous. But it's put me under a little bit of, not an added pressure, but you get used to a certain amount of people, mm. don't you? 200, 300, 400 at the most. And I was trying to think, I wonder what uh, 700 looks like, you know? Yeah. In your mind. But... Can you, you know, when the lights are on the stage, because yeah. when we used to compete, Bill, right, and the lights are so that yeah. bright on stage, yeah. you can only see the first two rows, Frank. Well, isn't it strange? And they're all behind yeah. it. Yeah. You couldn't see, and you know, sometimes, like, things like the universe, there'd be a few thousand Thousands people of people. You could only see the first two rows. Yeah, but rows. it didn't bother you, did it, in the end, because no. they were just like lumps of meat. You yeah. didn't think of them as people. No, no, no. Just, I mean, it's not like what yeah. you have to yeah. do or you, but I'm just saying, well, you can't time, see the problem. audience, lad. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't you can't pick out some fella going fucking shite him. Do you know what I mean? I you can't, yeah. so don't worry about it, lad. Just crack on. I know, and at the same time, I know for people who've never been in front of a camera, it you know can be quite awkward, can't it? I mean, well, I have. I've seen, seen that. I've, yeah, we've seen it. Seen we? it, we've mate, seen yeah. it. It's, 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 yeah. 
people find it difficult and then the fuck that it's like they get like like a rabbit slapped in the red lights aren't they? they just freeze and they everyone's don't different aren't they it's like everyone's got different talents i mean you know like you get a mechanic that can you go like that in your car i haven't got a, and he just goes like that lift the bonnet yeah it's, it's, it's just no straight away yeah but the it. frank there's some guests who want you to go yeah. right right when was your bomb um oh. 19 um, 75 um how old are you now um I'm 46, and you just want them questions like that, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Listen, just come on, talk relax. freely, relax, yeah, mate. Yeah. Do you know, there's no one hanging over you. Yeah. Be yourself, lad. You don't have to, you know, put on some type of act. Yeah. But people are nervous about being themselves, lad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, lad, aren't they? You, know, you must have interviewed a few people like that. I, I remember my first, my first podcast being interviewed by James English, and um, he came down to... To me, Mars, and I'm living in my mum's at the time. I was on a tag. I was um, just got out of jail, and we'd done it in a gym exercise for the less. Yeah. In Bellevale, and the fucking kids were on the running machine. I'd, I felt embarrassed because I didn't want to bring him into me Mars because yeah, the yeah. little my mum had a little bungalow. She's mm. you know she's all she's and swacky me Mars sometimes. Mm. Old fashioned fucking joilies on the oh, table. Like your Mars got a lovely cat. She's got yeah. She's, she's got a lovely house, your Mars. It's, 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 it's spotless, but at the same time, it was I, I felt a little bit insecure because this is where I was going. So the gym said, yeah, you can use this table and there's a couple of chairs. So we sat there, we got it all, they got it all set up, I didn't. And I was, fuck me, I was, my mouth was dry. I was, I was, I was trapped in all that fear. I had anxiety going on, like I didn't know what to fucking say. And then I said what I had to say. And then when it, when it ended, I was thinking, oh, fucking hell, I better get in touch with and find out what I fucking said then. Yeah. You know, it's always the one, in it. Did I say that? Oh, yeah, get that out. Yeah, mean. And a few people have asked me in the past, can we watch that podcast before you put it up? And I will do if you want to watch it. If you come on my show and I, I get you on and, you know, you don't feel comfortable with the outcome, then I can always send them a link. When I've sent that to you, haven't I, yeah. in the past? And I've sent it to a few other people. And once they see themselves on the screen, that Do you know okay. what? Everyone does. Yeah, I used to worry what well, over offended now. And now... I'm too old, I don't give a fuck. But the thing is, Darren, as I well... I really don't. If you don't like it, switch it off. I can't be asked if it offended you, if it offended you. I don't fucking care. But isn't it funny? We're just talking now, and you, this has happened to you, and you? And it's yeah. happened to me. Where the fellas are going, oh, Frankie, I couldn't stop laughing at that thing. And you go, what? And you go, and you think it... That wasn't funny, but... <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, 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 and you go, that. oh, I wasn't... And you go, oh, we were in bulk. Yeah. Now, I was going, you know, these vlogs that we do. That's maybe. another one, Frank. You just yeah. did it in bulk. Yeah. In bulk? Yeah, yeah. 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 In another bulk. one, you said Ken instead yeah, of house. Yeah, yeah. You don't hear that yeah. now. In bulk, anyway. Me and me lad were going to uh, to this gig. And me lad, and he's filming me and all right for this vlog thing that we're doing. And I'm driving. And in the end, he said, I said, hey, Will, put that fucking camera off, will you, for fuck's sake. And the fellow come up to me and went, oh, Frank, I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, lad? What, 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 what? He went, when you said to him, put that fucking camera away. Yeah. He went, you, I said, what's funny about that? Yeah. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what, right? I, 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 was, I was just looking at it, right? Like, I've got, like, loads of fucking... No, there's, 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 I should give a shout-out to a few of the, um, you know, my subscribers, like, the, you know, uh, fucking Dave the Aiden, Scouselands, he's a big shout-out to you, isn't he? Gabe. Yeah, yeah. Gabe Razzo, you Dave. know. John Aki, PJ Guitar, Jenin, Wilson, Troy Boy, Steve, there's loads, JW, Attention Seeker, that's me bird, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neil Clark, Gaz, Taz, Carol, Denise Gow, Steve, there's loads, say, yeah. You know, do you know what? Like, I, I like to answer and comment back to people when I get a bit of time overnight to scroll through it. And 99%, it's it's positive, and I appreciate that. Thanks for all your support. Yeah. It means a lot. All are positive. I know I haven't got a... I know, you. Look, I know people that, you know, go on YouTube, and there's a lot of fucking toxic stuff going on, and look, people love a bit of drama, but this platform is not about drama. It's about just positivity, having a laugh. And, do you know what? I could scream the views. I can get loads of fucking views going on if I, if I wanted to and start calling fucking all kinds of... But I don't. I think that's got a shelf life, that kind of podcast, know what I mean? I think what comes through when we're doing it, a fella says it was funny, this. Uh, I was coming home a couple of weeks ago from his show somewhere, and uh, starving. Mm. And I thought, fucking hell, it's about one o'clock, the ship needs to be shut. So I'm coming off the motorway and going along West Derby, 
a little chippy in the middle of West Derby Village was open. Yeah. You know, fucking great, you know. So I burst in, ran in. These two fellas come in. And I thought, I said, but I'm so nice, Frankie. And I said, yeah. So he said, can I have a picture? I said, yeah. So he a picture of all that. So I said to him, great, uh, do, do you follow me? Thank you. Oh no, he said, uh, we're fans of Billy and Zaren, and we've seen you on the next show. <laughs> Honest to God. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Honest to God, yeah. I had a fella sign lift me up. Frank, I told you, didn't I? Some fella come over here. All right, I'm showing me two girls, mate. And he's like, I'm in the middle of the town, he's yapping me for a crimbo. All right, lads, all right. And I went, who's this fucking nuts to me? <laughs> Next minute he went, what about a predator lad throwing his hand on me and tried to lift me up? And I went, I went, so, all right, mate, it's just take it easy, lads. I said, with me two kids, still on the door. I went, fucking tear it in, mate, I'm about 80. <laughs> still on the door. I went, no. But some of them are sound. Most of the lads are sound. Just have a no, screen with them. It's you know, funny what atmosphere, though, isn't it? It really yeah. is. I went out the other night, this is too for the bottle of milk. And uh, this fella come up to me with glasses on, and he's staring at me like that. He said, he's Frankie Allen. He said, he's going to follow all your stuff. I said, oh, thanks, mate. Then he was, what are you doing in here? <laughs> I, 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 I get that. I can imagine, lad. You take your living, Beverly Hills. I can imagine, mate. You take your living, Beverly Hills. You know what he's saying? I had the shame. I had the shame. He said, I'm getting some milk. What are you doing? Milk. Yeah. Milk. He was, oh, all oh, right. Yeah. But he could see his head was gone, you know. Yeah. He should have a picture, then he should have a picture of his daughter. So then I went to milk. I felt embarrassed in the end yeah. because I got the milk and I got some cup of soup. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Stand but I didn't you. have a basket or nothing. And I was standing behind him. And he's getting, and then he turned around and I'm just, I had these slippers on and went, you know, I just don't need this. It's yeah. terrible, you know. I said to him, I went to Saints, please have to meet him. Just what? I went to Saints, please, lad. And I fucking just shot in in my trackies with me, missus. And so long from fellow went. <laughs> oh, is the fucking hell's wrong with him? You know what I mean? Because I like, you know, it's only, a, we only do a podcast now we're And then he just started laughing at me and I thought, Frank, I see me ass and I thought, are you fucking laughing at do you know what I mean? He just said, don't, don't, don't know anyone. All right. What about that podcast with Billy? And I went, oh, all right, mate. But I faith, he never told me, lads. And I was thinking, oh, fuck it, what's wrong with this yeah. fella here, mate? There's a shout, where it? Show me ass. Yeah. See me ass. See me ass. Yeah. Yeah. Is that if you had that one? Yeah. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm worse than you a lot of ways. Don't know what it is. I'm not, not saying I'm paranoid, but you think people are snarling at you, don't you? <laughs> that, where you're in somewhere and someone's looking at you like that. And you go, and you're waiting to say, what's up? And they go, you all right? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Do you, do you think he can... He Gob's can like off. a robber's dog looking at you, and That's you think, what's this fellow want? And then he'll go, And all it all is, right, he lads. just recognise you. Yeah. But the worst of it, what I don't... Have you ever had that one where the seen yet, but he can't remember where it is, so they're, like, following you around mm. like that? <laughs> oh, where do I know him from? Yeah. Where do I know him yeah. from? You know what I do? I get messages after they've seen me. Right. Yeah, I've seen that, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Seen you in town here today, Bill. Yeah. It's going to let on, but I didn't know what to do. I said, lad, lad, if you see me, you're fucking let on. It's okay. Bird, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Don't with me bad, the kids. And, it, you know, just... I'm fucking... I am feel really privileged. You know what I mean? Very grateful that I've got the support. I it's mean, great. you get yourself into trouble, old can't you, with some people? I had a fellow come up to me. We were doing a St. Helens Theatre. Yeah. And it was great. And anyway, we were all in the back. And Will was with me and all that. Anyway, all these people come over doing the picture thing at the end by, by the uh, stage door. So this fella comes and goes, all right, Frank, and he got me, like, kind of caught me. You lived in Kenny, didn't you? He was in Kenny. Said, I lived down the corner. And all, I said, oh, yeah, and he went. So, so, next thing, he pulls his phone out and he goes, starts filming, he goes, say, just say, <laughs> Seal Road Locksmith is the best in the world. And it, I won't oh, even mention it. I mentioned this other one. In old Swan and say they're fucking rubbish. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I'm starting to do it, and my lad, my lad's behind me, and he's going, oh, yeah. And then I stopped doing this. Oh no, mate, I'm not going to do that. And I nearly done it, and I thought could have caused a lot of trouble for myself. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. sign the meal, you're careful, in. You've got to be very lads. careful be to careful. get you to say things that you don't want to say. Yeah. Like you, Billy. <laughs> you, know, you get us to say things you don't want to say. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but we can always edit stuff. I'm gonna try not to edit too much and like like the, you know, even like you know, you've been on a few podcasts though as well, haven't you? So yeah. people have seen you. Not only you the, this podcast, you've been on a few others, haven't you? You know, and but that was a good one, that you know, you would have been if you would have been there, you would have got a you know what a chip he would have yeah, like, yeah. honest to God, that's swear to be son. Yeah. I was. Where, where have you seen? I was like, Tiggy. I was. Where have you seen me, mate? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the fellow were like, that is scary. Man. No, Frankie, we didn't know you there. No. We're their fans. Of that, <laughs> really. I, know, I was. Fucking Billy and Wally, aren't we? Let's. Oh, okay, yeah. all right then. Yeah, all right. Got a little. Only us after two. Yeah. Funny, is it? I mean, we all want a recognition, don't we? We're not saying you get jealous of other people. But what I don't like is certain people I've seen them on the television yeah. telling you know they've got no talent and they're multi-millionaires. It's sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And there's been decent people like like Mickey Finn. Do you remember Mickey Finn, the comedian? Yeah. Fantastic comedian. And he never really made it, you know. Was he a bit blue, though, Frank? No, very clean, no, Mickey. No, was he, lad? Yeah. From St. Anthony's. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, yeah. yeah. Never I remember blue. the name. Very clean. Got on the television a couple of times. But I remember him. He, he told me once, he got on a show doing a sketch on Les Dawson. He was a big comic a few years ago. And he was on a show. Anyway, the ITV rang his agents up and said, listen, we want him on every week. You know what his agents said? We don't think he's ready for that at the moment. Oh, what a fucker, mate. You can't believe it. Can yeah, you? yeah, that could have been... Well, you can believe place. it. You can that's, believe it the way people yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking... Uh, that's, that's show business, isn't it? You know, the... It's, uh, it's sad. It's like... I've read about Sylvester Stallone. And he, he sold his dog. He never had a carrot, did he, before yeah, he made Rocky? Yeah, that story, like, yeah. I don't know whether it's true or not, but yeah. I think a lot of it is. And then... Have me off about dogs, Frank. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Why was that happened to the dogs? No, no, no. It's hard to with them. It's hard to stop with them, isn't it? I don't like dogs. I don't, yeah. I'm I don't not like a, I'm not a I'm not a dog lover. I've got a shit to that pulls I'm not a dog lover, lads. Yeah, it's a dirty bastard. Big red end and it's got, lads. It's horrible, Billy. It's horrible, lads. It's just that. I brought my dog out with it. Well, my bird's Mars dog. And he was a boy and he was just trying to rape it, lads. Do you know when he had this like little neckerchief though? He was dead cute, lads. And he was just a nuts, mate. Yeah. And my dog's like had this snip. Yeah, he doesn't sure. know what his half is, lads. Yeah. That bastard was trailing on the floor. Yeah, he was never had his half himself. Oh, lads, he wants it though, the yeah, fucking he mate. He's on it, lads. Okay, so Darren, we're coming to the end of this podcast now, but I just want to finish off on a few things. You know, like, uh, thanks for the tire. This is me, mate. Not right a problem, lads. Looks after me, always. I do always diets for all the lads. All the, all the lads, you know. And, I, and do you know what? I felt I was I was getting a little bit overweight. Um, I was eating loads of shite, especially overnight, later at night. I was, frankly, I was getting out of bed late at three, four in the morning. I haven't drank coffee now for nearly 10 days, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'm fucking drinking more water. I mean, I'm on six meals a day. And I, and, I, and I shared, you know, you can find it on my channel. I shared what I was, what I was eating. And I pre-cooked them myself, you know. You know, I prep them meals myself. You give me the uh, the, the 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 diet. Someone two chicken breasts a day, two veto rices. They're two meals. Then I've got salad with tuna. I've got salmon with vegetables. You know, in the morning I'll have me two protein shakes, which is forty grams of protein with a banana blended with a little bit of porridge. Right, that's the start of the day. Then I'll have a protein shake with forty grams again. And a tin of pineapples. Now people say, "Oh, a tin of pineapples." That's not safe for you. But we were talking about this this morning. It's the glycogen. Glycogen, yeah. Glycogen, whatever it's called. You need place, and what it is with the pineapples, right? And I got told this of uh, Mr. World, which is Eddie McDonough. You can Google him if you want, because there's all, there's always gobshites out who know more than you. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And Eddie was one of the top bodybuilders in the seventies, you know, and eighties in Britain. And he said, "Lad, when you finish saying, and always have some pineapples, right?" Because they're full of glycogen, you've just used the glycogen in your muscle as you've been saying, okay. so it's all drained out. So when you finish saying, replace the glycogen with the pineapples, and they've got digestive enzymes in them, natural ones, which make you absorb the food better all day, and you know they'll give you a flatter stomach and that. And he yeah. put that up, and the next minute there's people going, "It's wrong." It's a look, mate. All you're my get advice. You're gonna get comments, aren't you? I got was off proper. Old school boss bodybuilders. It worked for me. You know, I got down to something like six percent body fat. I look like a fucking big ornament now, Frank. But you know, lads, I can tell you where all the best chippies are at the moment, mate. That's, that's a party. Well, that's but lads, there's people on there always gonna say you've done that wrong, you've done this wrong. 
in my eyes, he's doing fuck all wrong. And that's social and media. And it's worked for everyone. That's social media. I can't be asked with it. Well, once again, right before we finish, before we finish, finito, right finito, yeah, neat. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who follows me, subscribes and watches this channel. Appreciate it. Big shout out to Frankie for coming on. And Darren, it's always a pleasure to have you on, mate. Yeah, thank I'll you. come on. As long as there's someone funny like Frankie, I'm on. Yeah, you know, a little bit of banter. I can bounce off Frankie, you know what I mean? Who's that fella that you had on, or can't you mention his <laughs> you name? You can't mention oh, names at the moment. Man, he was like We're not glasses, lads. Comedian, we don't start. But he, 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 oh, well, you know, he was pal. like... Like a, like alternatives. Yeah, uh, the ones you don't like. I didn't like him, Frank. He weren't us, but you not know, my cup of tea. We had to crack on. I leave did. them, leave them oh guessing. Leave them guessing. And, oh, oh fucking hell! I was I thought he was terrible, mate. But apparently I mean, he's a star. It's lad. The same he's fella. a star in his own right, Bill. In his own <laughs> mind. Hell, mate. <laughs> I done a show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Frank, he's not letting it go. Like, go ahead, Frank. No, down in real cam. Oh, we haven't mentioned his name. I got a show down in real. Oh, says, someone said if I go to real and get me yours now because I always give it real stick, lad. We love real. I love real, lad. <laughs> and he went, I'm bringing this. Uh, I've got these alternative com comedians coming on yeah. as well. I said, all right. Anyway, thingy, that fella. Yeah, was he on? Ah, uh, mate. Oh, anyway, I've never seen that like him in my life, mate. And he was talking about a bowl. Like washing dishes in oh, the plastic bowl. Oh, you said this bowl. one before, didn't you? I, I, I remember. I couldn't remember. It. What the fuck? Oh, I just yeah, shit. Yeah. Never mind. I think he's the same fellow you had here. Yeah, you know, he didn't like me. What's the <laughs> devil? You know what I mean? Never like me. We haven't mentioned no, he anyone. said last. No, no, we don't even. mention names. Right, we so. don't mention names. He's We're a star in his own right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this Vladimir Putin, they're not being funny. I'll have a go with you. I'll have a scrap with you. Down the entry. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah, take yeah. Darren and Billy with yeah. me. Don't wait in the car. And if uh, Vladdy starts knocking the fuck out of me, uh, Diesel jump in. Yo, you'll say, so. Billy will say jugging because he's not far from with us. Don't you? No juggins. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Take care. Ta-ra. Ta-ra.